Congratulations on the purchase of your Robotext SMS system for the RoboGuard alarm system. In this video, we will quickly show you how to get set up and get going. Okay, so first, grab yourself a SIM card. Make sure that the pin is disabled. I'm using a power bank for power supply to the Robotext. Alternatively, this is actually the preferred method because uh, it would uh, normally all your alarm systems come in 12 volt so you can just wire this up to your 12 volt power supply and plug it directly into the robotext and the advantage is it would also give you battery back backup when there's load shedding or loss of uh, ac power and we've got a micro usb cable that i'm just going to be using now to power up the robotext okay so this is the Robotex, it's got the tele cable that plugs into the HQ pre-wired. Um, it's got your output here for your UTX, your siren, your LED, and this is just a spare relay. The UTX will is available separately and you need to connect that up if you want to be able to arm and disarm your HQ uh, via your cell phone, via missed call. So to get going, we insert the sim, we remove and just snap off the back cover, cover gently grab the slim sim card gently tilt the pcb slightly and push it in until you hear a click insert the back cover again make sure everything lines up okay next we supply power oh, sorry we connect the antenna Okay, and then once we supply power, we're gonna then focus on an LED that's on the PCB here that starts flashing until it, uh, we're gonna use that as a guide to determine whether it is connected to the network and registered. There we go, there's the LED, it's flashing every half a second. It will flash every one second Okay, it is now registered on the network successfully you can see that it is it is flashing every one second the setup ready the setup led indicates that we are ready to dial the robotext and store our first number so we dial the robotext from our phone and it'll cut the call and the setup led will then turn off and the ready LED will, will indicate that the number is stored. Okay, so the first number is stored. To store subsequent, we would then get a message from Robotext uh, confirming that the number is stored. To store numbers two and three, we simply enter uppercase S T N two space followed by our number, and for the third number S T N three space followed by the number hit send and then you would receive a confirmation message that the number is stored once that is done you are ready to connect that to your hq and that's it if you arm the hq you would then receive a message saying that the hq is armed you can also uh, label your different zones but we will describe that in a subsequent video and in the next video we will also demonstrate how to do your connections to your utx siren and led so thank you for watching if you have any questions please respond in the comments below and we'll gladly answer them thank you <laughs>